All right, everybody. Um, second time's a charm. But anyways, we're gonna take a look at a new figure I got today, which I'm stoked about. It's the Star Wars Darth Vader from Rebel Tech, which is brought to you by Kyoto and Figure Complex. Um, there's the box right there itself. It's got a cool little space backdrop. It's pretty nice. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty looking. Make for a good diorama piece. Let's look at the back of the box. Got Vader there. The old Disney logo. And info on the bottom. And how to like replace joints and stuff like that with pliers. Anyhow, let's take a look at this guy. This is by far one of those uh, figures that's not easy to review. Um, I tried to film this before and had some technical difficulties. But um, because like a lot of Japanese figures, uh, they tend to fall apart kind of easily, but they tend to go back together pretty easily. This figure's pretty sick. Mad points of articulation. Mad points. Some massive detail. Massive detail all around. Can pose the crap out of this dude. His cape is articulated like crazy. Can swivel back like that. It can swivel around. Oop, to cover him. Like I said, yeah. These things tend to pop off pretty easily, but they go back on pretty easily, too. So, yeah. Very awesome paint apps. Boots, everything. He's got ankle articulation, knees, even toesies. There's little joints in the sides of the cape where you can plug them and unplug them. It's got like three, like a zillion different sections in the cape. One, two, three. This is hinged. This has also got somewhat of a, a hinge too. Yeah, we got a ball joint at the hip. Pauldrons are separate right here. Very nice. Comes with different hands. He's got open hands, grabby hands, some closed fists. All identical. Another hilt. And a little kickstand. But all in all, this is a pretty badass figure. Despite some of the technical difficulties you might have with this figure, he's still pretty awesome. And still worth still worth your time and your money, I would think, I would say at least. But yeah. Very cool, very sick. I need to figure out how to use the kickstand with him because that would help a lot for posing and stuff. But uh, let's get him to stand straight too. That would be cool. Because I wouldn't be doing this review justice if I didn't have him whoop, stand up straight. But I'm not going to bitch or moan about... um. About joints popping off because Japanese figures, that's just kind of how they are sometimes. So you just got to kind of deal with it and be patient and be grown up about it. Because I'm not big on complaining about my figures too much, except for that Batman that broke on me. That kind of sucked. But this, is, this isn't going to break on you. This is just going to be like a little, you know, you're going to just have some joint problems. That's about it. With being a little, uh, falling out a little bit like that. But yeah. That can always be remedied. But I do like Rival Tech figures. I almost like them sometimes better than SH Figure Arts. Uh, but yeah, he's a he's a bad mamma jamma of a figure. If I get him to stand. I had him standing earlier today, but uh But yeah, he's kinda top heavy. A bit on the top heavy side. But he's sick. He's definitely sick. And this cape's pretty darn heavy, so he might, might be keeping him from standing. I had him standing earlier with the cape on, so I don't know how. I need to figure out how I had that going. Maybe if I reattach it, that might help. 
this is how you reattach it. Uh, I had them standing earlier, so I don't know why they don't want to stand now. So that's weird. Good Lord, Vader, stand. Well, he doesn't want to stand that well right now, but still, he's still an awesome figure. Still pretty kick-ass, and I still suggest getting him if you can find him. And yeah, this thing's so neat. Definitely going to have to play around with him some more, for sure. But I need to figure out, I guess the kickstand goes in the back over here, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that. Might help if I do that, but still. Let's see. If I can get that going. It's got kind of a tiny hole to fit in now. It's the only thing. Yeah, it doesn't fit very well. But anyways. And also another neat part to this figure is this helmet pops off and you can see the back of his head like on Empire the whole thing doesn't come off though you don't see the whole face which is cool with me that's fine I don't care I like Vader to be kind of a mystery you know it was an Empire that was kind of a mystery so I think that's cool but yeah, I wish I could figure out how to get him to stand how I had him standing earlier today. That would be a lot. That would be hella cool. But um, I think I might just sleep and pose like this because it's a lot easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier. But yeah, this is a sick ass figure. So if you can find him, go for it. I got him on BigBadToyStore.com as usual. And uh, yeah, I digs him. I digs him. No matter how like uh, how the you know the things might pop off and on on this, it's still a pretty cool figure. I recommend it. I suppose you could like fix that with some like nail varnish and stuff like that. It wouldn't you know that'd probably be a pretty easy fix. But um, but all in all, this thing is sick, and I'm glad I got it to add to my Revil Tech collection. But um, like some of my other Revil Techs, I, I don't remember them being this uh coming apart so easily. But other than that, he's pretty sick. And probably meant for more for a display piece than anything. Than anything. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this with y'all. Sorry for any of this technical difficulties or any jumbling or anything like that. But if you ever get this figure, you play around with him, you'll see why he's not that easy to review. <laughs> but at the same time, man, I just really, I don't know, I think this is worth it. I think it's a pretty cool figure. Well, he looks cool with that saber. I like the, the brightness of the saber. It looks pretty cool. It's translucent, but at the same time, it I don't know, it's it's got a nice brightness to it. That's just very old school. And he looks awesome. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for taking time to check this out. And uh, yeah, if you can find this guy, go for it. And uh, you can get him at BigBadToyStore.com too. But um Anyways, thanks for watching and subscribing and uh, more reviews and stuff always on the way. Thanks, guys. Peace.